What's going on guys? t rex 87 here. And TIEFI85. Today we are going to be doing a Call of Duty World War II review. Let's get started. So we're going to be dividing the review into three segments basically and that's going to be just the campaign, the multiplayer, and Nazi zombies. Obviously we want to talk about the three sections of the game. Um, obviously they have their own qualities, their own differences, and uh, I wanted to bring Tyfly along today because um, he has played a lot of the game with me and he has a, a pretty good opinion of it and he, you know, he wanted to chime in on it so we both just thought we would give our thoughts and opinions. Um, as far as the campaign goes, I love the campaign personally. I, I, I know you, I think you probably did too. Um, yeah, absolutely. But it, it is such a, a great cinematic campaign and I haven't beat the last couple missions. Um, so unless those are just like an entire, like, you know, huge letdown, um, it, it is just such a, it makes you feel like almost like you're in, call it, you know, in World War II, you know? I, I, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's what I was going to say. It, it really makes you feel like you're in it. Like you're really in it. Like I can only imagine if they were to make this game in like VR form, how much more in depth it would be, but it's amazing and it stands completely on its own oh my God. it's such a great game in vr form this game would like give people heart attacks i'm pretty sure like it would, it would be <laughs> crazy <laughs> just the the first mission you know when you go storming up normandy beach and you uh you know there's explosions going off everywhere and they're you know, like people are blowing up dude's getting like his foot blowing off like it's just it does a lot to really immerse you in the experience and uh i think personally it does a really good job because yeah. it really does personally for me it's the best um the best Call of Duty campaign yet, I think. I'll agree with that, absolutely. I think it's I think it's great. Yeah, it's, it's one of the best so far. I mean, I don't know if any of you guys have played like Infinite Warfare, but there was something really weird about that game. I just could not get my head wrapped around the whole like jetpack jumping thing. It just it I I couldn't do it. Yeah, I was not a huge fan of Infinite Warfare or uh, Advanced Warfare or any of that crap. It just didn't feel like Call of Duty to me. The last one I really remember playing that I liked was like black ops 2 you know we used to play that all the time back in the day and th that was the last time i played a call of duty game really that i really got into next i do want to talk about the multiplayer and well i think it's a great multiplayer i do have a couple of gripes personally that i just issues i've been having maybe it's not true for everybody um but the multiplayer as far as gameplay goes i think is really good it's uh, you know i, I don't know what type i think it's very well done i think it's it, it reminds me of like the old multiplayer that i used to love and i do really like that uh as far as the maps go one thing that i did notice uh compared to a lot of the older ones is they're uh, extremely more detailed a lot bigger and there's a lot of uh, extra crevices as far as like being able to hide and but they do do a really good job of making it so uh, if people want to hide around corners and things like that, you can do that, but they make it so it's it's not as easy. So I do yeah. really like that. Yeah, for sure. It, it is really good. The maps to me seem almost like they're a little bit smaller um, than previous Call of Duty. Not necessarily smaller, but there's there's more tunnels, you know, and it's there's more corridors and places to get trapped and to get into firefight. And I think that I think that does help, you know, like um, cut down on the on the sniping a little bit. Because um, I know that was a huge thing back in the day with Call of Duty, you know, like... Yeah, that, yeah, sniping sucks. Yeah, and like, you know, there would be, you know, certain other people that we played with uh, commonly, and you, know, you should know who I'm talking about, that would just like sit there and camp and plant a claymore, and all he would do is snipe people. Like, all <laughs> yes. match long. So I'm not going to name names, but uh, if you watch this video, know that I'm talking about you. Um, <laughs> my biggest gripe, though, it, with, the, uh, with the, the, the multiplayer is it is such a lag fest right now. It is so bad. It's that's pretty common, though. I mean, any of the old ones we used to play. It. I mean, it's hard to know if it's the game itself, it's the servers, because there's too many people on there, or if it's like the internet of the host yeah. who's like doing the game. So it could be one or the other. And I'm probably gonna go more on the side of the host versus the game itself, because I'm sure I'm sure that game is like super fast on its own. If there was no lag at all, sure. like it just seems so well done. Yeah, no, and I totally get that, and I'm sure, like, if you played in a room full of people where we were all, like, hooked up together to the internet and, like, in a, in a fucking, like, tournament or something like that, I'm sure it would be great. It doesn't seem to be any better than back when we used to play on the 360, and, you know, this is, like, ten years ago. And I, I get there's a lot of people on the server, and that's probably very taxing, and they always underestimate and stuff like that, but 
Like, there have been a couple games, dude, where, like, it was, like, literally almost unplayable. Like, I was, like, popping around the map, like, just because I was teleporting everywhere. And I've got really good internet, so, I mean, it wasn't, it may have been me. Maybe I had a drop off on the internet, but, like, and it's not always like that. But I just feel like with a game this big, and it's 2017, almost 2018, that this should be less of a problem, personally. That's just my my personal opinion. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with that. Going back to the maps, though, overall, I totally agree with you as far as the firefights and being yeah. close in. I do like that about this game overall, though, because it literally every single multiplayer that we did end up playing versus, it just seemed like everybody was on the move. Yeah. Like, there, it, there were a few people in a few of the maps that were doing the sniping, but for the most part, everybody was on the move. Like, you literally could just round a corner and there's a guy right there or I was able to like run up on several people and use the bayonet. So it was just a, a really fun. I yeah. really liked it overall. I liked that aspect of it, of being able to just, everybody was on the move all the time. Yeah, no, for sure. Next we should just move on um, to the, uh, the Nazi zombies. Um, Nazi zombies for me, um, I've never was a huge zombies guy personally. Um, I, I found the Nazi zombies to be like stress inducing. Um, because they were popping out of everywhere. It wasn't like the old Call of Duty. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere. Seriously, everywhere. Like, they're falling out of the sky, coming out of the ground, and, like, they don't just come out of the windows anymore. It's everywhere. And, like, it literally stressed me out. Like, we were playing the other day, and, like, I was, like, literally just getting stressed out about it and just, like, my God, I got to run to the next place. I got to get a new weapon. And I guess that's the point of it. You know, you're trying to find out a horde of zombies. I will agree with you, though. It definitely was a lot more intense than any of the original ones. Yeah. Now, as far as the, what we mean by intense is uh, when you would progress through all of the original ones, the, the horde would get bigger and bigger and faster and all that kind of stuff. This one, it literally seemed like right off the bat. They were running after you. They were like climbing all over you. It didn't matter how fast you ran. Like they literally were right behind you, like every moment. Yeah. It just it was really fun. I loved it. I thought it was great. It was. It was. It was really good. I thought it was like I think it was my favorite zombies mode to date. Personally, I think it was. It, it was a lot of fun to run around and do. I didn't really like the old zombies quite as much. I wasn't ever a huge fan. Um, but this one, I can see myself definitely sinking some time into, especially with like you know being able to get. Uh, I know we only got like a couple care packages or one care package or whatever, but it seems like you get items to drop like a better weapon that you can start out with that's a consumable. So like you can start out with an auto rifle and you get you get to use it three times. And the more care packages you earn, the more stuff you start out with better and the, like, the longer you can last basically. If I can actually just interject for one moment. Yeah. One thing I will say is in that main hub area where you can see everybody kind of running around when we were together, uh, I don't know what that area is called, but just like the it kind of hub. reminded me, yeah, the social hub, it totally reminded me of like Destiny and that whole social club area where everybody was kind of oh, hanging sure, out like and going doing the same thing. Yeah, it totally reminded me of that when I was there and we were doing that. I was just like, this totally reminds me of Destiny right now. Yeah, no, and, you know, obviously this is, you know, produced by Activision, who also helps produce Destiny, and so obviously they're going to take some of those ideas. Like, the uh, the the social hub, they definitely grabbed from Destiny. Um, I feel like the loot boxes, you know, they could have definitely grabbed from, like, Overwatch or something like that. Um, I do like the loot system, personally. I, I know everybody hates loot boxes, and I found them to be really rewarding, um, you know, and I'm just getting them through playing, and I thought that was, I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't feel like I needed to go buy one, necessarily. I, I thought that they were rewarding in their, in their own right, especially the zombie one, so... Yeah, and I haven't played very many games like Tarek has with a lot of games that had loot boxes in it previously. So this is kind of a, a newer thing for me, uh, like personally. So I, I would say for somebody who's not used to loot boxes, it, it didn't trouble me at all. Like when I got those things and I did not feel any need to have to purchase anything, like ever. So, I mean, you know, rest be rest assured there that you're not feeling the need to have to spend more money or anything like that. So it's a great game. It stands on its own. So overall, those are just our general impressions of the game, what we thought of it and everything like that. Um, if I had to score this game, um, I personally would give it like an 8.7. I think it's a great game. I think it has a few issues, especially with the multiplayer, um, the lag right now, and that, that does detract from it a little bit. But this is definitely the best Call of Duty in years. Uh, me, personally, I would give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's one that could be hands down like the best Call of Duty game I think I've ever played. 
And before this particular one, my favorite one was World at War. And I know that that's a really old game, but it's the original Call of Duty that was World War II before Call of Duty World War II. So it was one of my really favorite games. So when I found out that they were doing this game, I was super excited, and I definitely was not let down by this game. It's definitely worth the money. Like, go buy this game. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. It's it's one of those few games out there that, you know, we can both definitely say it's worth 60 bucks. You know, it, it, it is it, definitely worth it. Anyways, guys, that's our review. Um, you know, if you if you like this review and you found it helpful and if making a purchasing decision or anything like that, you know, hit that like button. And if this is your first time to the channel, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell notification. That way you can always get notified whenever Ty Fly or myself post new content, which we do every Monday through Saturday. Also, definitely check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and every now and then we do stream on Twitch and Xbox Mixer. Yeah, we are. The cool thing about Mixer, and I know I mentioned this in my last video, is that you can actually see us both in stream, but you can only do this from a computer. You can't do it from a phone, so you have to actually get on desktop and do it. Or if you have an Xbox One, you can actually look us up and you can see our stream that way as well. So, you know, whenever we're on, if you want to come check us out, we'd love to have you guys and we'd love to just chat with you guys while we're playing. So, yeah, come check it out. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll, till next time. Stay awesome. Are you excited for the next round? This is called the double bonus whammy round. This is where the cash gets stinkier, sweatier. No, I know. Wait, nobody got time for that. <laughs> Fuck your face. I think it's funny. Go back to 2015, you meme whore. My Disney video was great. Go fuck your the, face. The Mickey Mouse shit was really funny. Yeah. Uh, Make sure that you fucking edit <laughs> that whole first part. Like, my God. Well, yeah. So is it just going to be me and you side by side talking about Call of Duty? Are you going to try to, like, add right here in the middle? Actually, this side. My bad. Like, here in between us? Yeah, you're on my not like, left. Are you going to put, the like, a box in between us, though? So, like, it looks like we're connected by a box? And it'll be like Call of Duty, like maybe like an image or something, like something cool. If you would like me to. Well, I don't know. I'm just saying. Wait, 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 so wait, 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 wait. At least people have something to stare at. Wait, 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 wait. hold on. Just give one, one second here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. This is how we do it. It's Tuesday night. Get out of my stream. Can you move it just a smidge your direction? Well, just because you're further over than me. Yeah, that's perfect. Is that good? Yeah, I just don't want to block all of my. Uh, okay. Uh, all of the pops. Oh yeah, no, can't block your decorations. <laughs> Don't block the pops. Whatever you do. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. Is that good? Are you sure? Is that good enough? Uh, or do you want? Do you want to do something? Uh, let's just let's just try it again. Okay. I just I'm, I don't, I'm not used to having another person with me, so I don't fucking know what to say. Do you want me to intro or you intro? It's my fucking video. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's going on guys, T-Rex87 here with MG Knights, and today we are going to be doing a Call of Duty World War II review. Yeah, d d start that over. I, I went like this. I have a face like <laughs> Right when we started this. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, oh. <laughs> it looked kind of retarded. Okay. All right. I don't know where to introduce you at. I don't know how to introduce you. What do you mean? Just introduce me. Why, why don't we just start the video like normally do? What's going on, guys? I'm T Rec 87, and I'm Time Fly 85, okay, and then you sure. you, you do I'm it. I'm just so used to talking by myself. Okay, good enough. All right. Do you want to go take care of that really quick, or? We good? <laughs>